We can take you back to Victor Baadweng. He's a journalist with the Sunday Standard in uh, Botswana, and the country's former president, Ian Khama, has been summoned to appear before a court in Khaboroni today. He and four others, including a former intelligence chief and a suspended police boss, face a total of 38 charges, ranging from receiving stolen property, unlawful possession of firearms, to the registration of firearms under false pretenses. And if convicted, he could face up to 10 years in prison. Victor, I understand you are back with us. Thank you very much uh, for coming back. Uh, you had mentioned that, to your knowledge at least, it does not appear that Mr. Khama will be able to attend court proceedings uh, today. We touched on the issue of how much interest this has garnered um, among uh, the everyday Botswana and what the opinion is. Yeah, I was, I was saying as far as the public is concerned, they view the uh, as a fight between the former president and the incumbent one, President Masisi, because this has been going on for a, the past four years or so. So they just see it as part of a series of, of this uh, exchange between the two leaders. Mm -hmm. What do we need to know about his co-accused? Who are they? The co-accused are mainly the men who, who were men of service during his time. Uh, the current police commissioner was a police commissioner at the time when uh, former president was in office. So he's being accused for having been uh, aided the, the um, acquisition of that uh, arms of war or the, the acquisition of the license. The, the other co accused was the former deputy uh, um, uh, secretary in, in one of the ministries. So there are mainly men who were uh, men of service around the, the Kama time. Mm. So the Batswana see is see this rather as political uh, persecution. Mr. Masisi is on a working visit to South Africa tomorrow to meet his counterpart, President Cyril uh, Ramaphosa. To your knowledge, what is that meeting uh, about, and 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 what do people feel about that? Well, Batswana are mostly divided on the issue. There are obviously those who are pro the current administration who sees this as the right thing to do for President Masisi. But obviously there are those who are sympathizing with uh, former President Ian Khama and they see this as a political attack on, 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 on the men. So this is this, that division between between the, the, the members of the public. But in terms of the visit to South Africa, this is just a bi-national bi visit. It started, I think, during the time of President Zuma that side and President Khama. The South African was one ahead signed an agreement to do the state visit on on annual basis so it it, 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 it has never happened before during the, since both uh, Cyril and and Masisi came in office uh, it is it, the first time but it, it used to happen almost every year during the the, the Kama and and Zuma era Victor Baadweng is a journalist at Sunday Standard in Botswana that's all the time we have for today thank you very much for availing yourself